Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you start Selenium server? Let me answer. We have to run this command. That is java-jar selenium-server some version dot jar. Okay. We have to first download this jar file of Selenium server. After that, in our command prompt, we can run this command java-jar selenium server conversion dot jar okay by doing that we can start the selenium server so let's do it practically for that i'll open any browser and take you to the official website of selenium that is selenium dot dev and i'll go to the downloads page in the downloads page here you see the first thing selenium server for grid okay this is the one okay we can use the selenium server for selenium grid so click on this uh, latest stable version of Selenium server, whatever that is available at your time. When I'm recording this session, this version is available. Let me click on that. It will download. Once the Selenium server, that is uh, whatever the latest version dot jar file is uh, downloaded, then we can proceed to the next step. As you can see, the jar file has been downloaded. Now, let's open this, the downloads folder. We got this jar file. Now, we need to open the command prompt, okay? So we have to open the command prompt and go to the location where this jar file is available. The shortcut for that is select the path where this jar file is available and just type CMD here and press enter. The command prompt will launch in a while at the same location where the jar file is available, okay? One minute. Yeah. At this location, at the downloads folder location only, the command prompt got opened. Now we have the jar file here with this Selenium hyphen server some version. So in order to start this uh, Selenium server, I have to type Java hyphen jar space Selenium. You have to give this name Selenium hyphen server then hyphen we have 4.10.0 dot jar. That's it. And press enter. So what's happening? It's not allowing you to run directly, right? It's giving you some commands. Either you have to mention some hub or node or whatever it is, okay? We have to mention that. So let's go to the documentation of uh, Selenium. That is, uh, you just search for this selenium dot uh, dev grid. Then you will get this grid documentation. Then getting started, you cannot directly start like that, right? So earlier you you, you would have started like this, okay? Selenium server uh, file you could have started directly like this, but now it's not allowing. It's uh, asking you to use any of these commands like uh, start a hub or node or you know. Uh, standalone mode also you can do the simple thing is standalone mode okay so like this java hyphen jar till here we have written right we can extra thing we can add is standalone okay so the same command we can do like this okay standalone just type extra standalone java hyphen jar selenium server version dot jar followed by standalone this is one of the mode in selenium grid okay this is one of the mode in selenium grid which will make your local machine both hub and node at the same time. What is the problem? There are no drivers. Okay, you see there, there are some predict sites again. Okay, for this to happen, we should have drivers. So let's close this. I'll tell you what you have to do. This jar file is not enough. Okay, this jar file is not enough uh, to start the server and all. Okay, for the Selenium grid purpose, uh, you cannot start the server just by using this jar file. You are getting some problems. The problem is there are no drivers. What we have to do is go to the official website again, selenium.dev, go to the downloads, scroll down until you see something known as browsers. Take anything, okay? For example, Chrome, click on documentation and here go to the, so once you go here, latest Chrome binaries and all, downloads page, here you will see Chrome some version. Okay, click on this version and you'll get this link, the latest one. 
So I'll check the Chrome browser version also. The Chrome browser version is 114 something. Here also we have 114 something. So let me click this and download the Chrome Windows 32 bit because my Visual machine is a Windows machine. So let this uh, Chrome driver uh, file get downloaded, okay? At least one, one driver file should be there, okay? You can also download the driver uh, exe file of Firefox and uh, Edge, etc. Up to you. Extract. Extract all. Once extracted, you will get the driver file, Chrome driver.exe file that you put inside this downloads folder where this uh, Selenium server jar file is available. Now Chrome driver.exe is there here. You can also download the other, other browser driver exe files. Okay. But for sample, I am down, I have downloaded only the Chrome driver.exe. Again, I will open the command prompt this time. Earlier it, have, it was not working. So this time it will be working. CMD. Java hyphen jar selenium hyphen server hyphen 4.10.0, I guess, right? 4.10.0 dot jar space standalone. This is one of the mode in selenium grid. Okay. So either you have to make it hub, node, standalone, like that. Okay. So only this command is not going to work. Standalone, some kind of extra command like hub, node, standalone should be added. For example, I'm adding standalone and uh, this is also not enough. We should have some browser exe files, driver exe files of different browsers if required. Press enter. Then only this command is going to work. Now you see it's going to work, looks like it's going to work because we have the Chrome driver.exe. It will detect the driver and all. You see, started Selenium standalone server. Now the server started. Okay. So here, we can say local host. Okay. Or we can say where it started. Uh, IP address will be there. You see, IP address with port number is there. 192.168.0.107. Give that. TP colon double slash 192.168.0.107 slash 444. I actually it is colon actually colon port number is 4444. Press enter. Let's see what is happening. Site can't be reached. Slash grid slash console. Now run this. It's not working. Okay. So I think this is the correct only, right? 192.168.0.4.4.4 from down to up. Okay, here extra 4 came. That's the problem. Now it will work. Okay. I just made a mistake of adding uh, 5 fours, uh, 5 fours instead of 4 fours. Okay. Now you see this, this is coming means Selenium server has started. That was. So hope guys you understood how to start the Selenium server for uh, Selenium grid purpose. We generally start the Selenium server nowadays for Selenium grid purpose only. Other than that, there is no other use. Okay. So in order to start the Selenium server for Selenium grid purpose, we have to run this command and followed by this command, we have to mention one Selenium grid mode. Uh, one of the example is standalone mode, or you can also launch separately hub and node and all. I don't want to go deep, but uh, this is a process. Okay. To confirm whether it has been, uh, server has started or not, they have to open that IP address that is there in the command prompt and slash grid slash console you say. And if you are getting a page with all the details, that means Selenium server has successfully started for the Selenium grid. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.